What is wrong with the run game specifically from an X's and O's standpoint? Yeah, well, we'll start with the fact that this wide zone scheme and those clips were good examples of what that looks like where you have players moving in, in uh, concert to one side or the other, uh, creating gaps in the defense theoretically by being on the move, and then your running back is supposed to be able to plan his foot as he's running to the side to a stretch play and then plan a foot, his outside foot, and cut it up to a, uh, a cutback lane. Well, those lanes aren't there. As you saw, Vontez Perfect and other members of that Bengals defensive front were crashing through those areas, coming behind the back in some cases, and blowing up those plays. That is a scheme, as I say, that I think, number one, they're using because it's what Rick Dennison, the offensive coordinator, knows, believes in, has seen uh, be successful, especially for the Atlanta Falcons. There's one big difference, though. The Falcons not only have some talented running backs of their own in Devonta Freeman uh, and Tevin Coleman, but they also have a great quarterback and a great passing game that opens up things also for the run. They work in concert. The Bills have none of that. Uh, I think LaShawn McCoy is still an effective player at 29, but I, I don't know that he looks as effective when he doesn't have the perfect blocking in front of him. And then there, there is this thing called blocking, which regardless of scheme, uh, the players up front, Richie Incognito, Eric Wood, go across the line. They have to play better. They're not playing as well as they need to.